Welcome to Cisco Training Videos, my name is Trevor. This video is going to help you learn how to filter through command output efficiently on a Cisco ASA using a feature called piping. Let's begin. So have you ever found yourself wanting to look at a very specific part of a firewall's running configuration, but you didn't want to do an entire show run and then filter through all that output manually? Well, the piping command will allow you to do exactly that. The piping command is a feature on the Cisco IOS that allows you to specify exactly what you're looking for, and it then filters through all the different lines of output that a show command will provide, and it only displays exactly what you defined after that piping command. Here's an example of the piping command being used. I'm going to type the command show run, and then I'm going to hit that straight lined button above the enter key. You have to hold shift. That's the pipe. You have a couple of options here. You can either do begin, exclude, grep, and include. I'm going to choose include. And I want to include only lines in the output of show run that include static. So now instead of seeing the entire show run output, I'm only seeing exactly what I wanted to see. This is what it would have looked like if I didn't use the piping command. So as I mentioned earlier, there's different piping options. Let's go ahead and look at them right now. Let's start off with begin. If you choose begin, it's going to begin the output at the keyword that you specify. So if I specify static, show run pipe begin static, it's going to look at the output of show run and then begin showing me only when it sees the word static. So it immediately starts off at static, but the rest of the output is displayed normally. Exclude does exactly the opposite of include. If I do show run pipe exclude static, it's going to show me, if I can spell it right, <laughs> it's going to show me the running config, but it's going to exclude anything that contains the keyword of static. The keyword of grep allows you to include or exclude using the same piping subcommand. So if we do grep dash static, it's going to display the same output as show run pipe include static. But if we did grep dash v, then that's going to work exactly the same as the exclude. The piping command is really useful. Let's say if you were in a situation where you had thousands of connections on your firewall and you wanted to filter through the connection table. Well, you could just do show con pipe include and then the IP address that you wanted to look at. And you could use that to see how many connections that IP address has established on your device. So the command I was just describing would look like this. Show con pipe include and then an address that you're trying to figure out how many connections are established. I'll just do 2.2.2.2.2. In my situation though, I just made that IP address up and there are no connections coming from that. But if there were, or you were getting attacked by an IP address, you would see all of the connection entries displayed right there and you'd be able to identify if this was something that you needed to show or not. So that's all you need to know, the very basics to Cisco piping. Go ahead and log on to a test device if you have the ability to do so and play around with this pipe begin and pipe include. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.